Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. And today we're going to review another nice crossover fifth wheel value from Parkway RV Center. And guys, you talk about a lot of fifth wheel for the money. Today we're going to review a nice and clean, very showy looking 2009 AmeriCamp Trail Boss. This is a 402 model number. This thing's 41 feet long two big slide outs um well, i've nicknamed this one a uh, uh, gill favor which most of y'all probably are not going to get that but <laughs> unless you like old westerns um but guys this thing is 14,000 pound dry weight fifth wheel this is a serious fifth wheel it's going to take a serious truck to tow it triple axle that's why it's so heavy. It's got a 3,500 pound cargo carrying capacity. Um, you know, back when I was towing RVs for a living, there's a saying, if it's got three axles, you need six wheels to tow it. Uh, I do recommend a diesel dually pickup truck to tow this thing because 14,000 pounds is before you put anything in it. You're gonna put a 1,000 pounds minimum in it, food, water luggage and then if you put anything in the back in the garage that's going to be additional weight on top of that so it's going to take a healthy truck to tow it but my gosh folks where else can you get this much camper for under 30 grand uh garage is a 12 by 8 foot garage so it's a big garage bay it's got the dovetail the rear ramp door that's spring assisted um it's got a power awning that's in great shape i've got it out right now Got a really flashy paint job on it. Power stabilizer jacks. They really didn't have the level up system back in 09, but that's uh, pretty close to it. Just a stabilizer instead of leveling jacks. I mean, this is a showy looking uh, fifth wheel, guys. Four seasons. But look at that price. I mean, my gosh, folks, I've got 30-foot um, travel trailers with one slide for close to that price. Two awning toppers. It's got a 10-gallon water heater. Does not have a generator. And it may have had one in the past 13 years. It's got the vented compartment, 401. I don't know if it just, when the original owner, they may not have opted for it, or it may have had one, and they, it got taken out over the past 13 years. Who knows, guys? That's, that's the thing about used RVs. I mean, you can look at it, but you don't really know the detailed history of it like that. You can look it up, see where it's from and all that stuff, but um, as far as what's been done to it, who knows? But, I mean, unless you're going to be boondocking, you don't really need a generator anyway because uh, if you're going to a campground, you're going to be hooked into shore power anyway and you can run a lot of stuff off just the batteries and you can carry a portable generator um there is especially right now these ultra quiet inverter style generators um there's some neat ones out there that can do a lot you know for the rare occasion that you go somewhere that you do need to be able to uh, have 110 power without being at a campground or somewhere with a plug-in and you can buy one you can buy two or three of those for what it would cost you to put a uh, like an onan generator in the belly of it something like that now here's a, just a word of warning guys on these portable generators they are not designed to be used while inside the rv an rv generator is that's one reason why they're so much more expensive they're sealed design they got a tailpipe to run the exhaust and the fumes away from the inside of the camper Portable generators are, are designed to be operated out in the open, not in an enclosed area. Back of the pickup truck's fine. That's where a lot of people store them and just run a power cord to the back of their truck. But uh, just a little safety thing right there, guys. Tires look great. We towed it from North Carolina. Uh, of course, you know, AmeriCamp, guys, is not a really big manufacturer back then. They only build a handful of these big ones a year. They mostly build travel trailers, but 
It's got the high gloss fiberglass. It's a very well built one. Six sided aluminum frame, you know, wall, ceiling, floor, front and back. Um, and you know what I like about this crossover or toy hauler, whatever you want to call it, is you know a lot of these you look at this this age in a toy hauler or crossover it's they, it's been pretty much road hard put up wet they've been you know i've seen a lot of used 09s that were kind of rough on the inside because what people do with these things they take them dirt bike rallies and mud pits and whatever else they do and they really you know are pretty rough with them this is kind of the rare exception guys let's go in here out of this lawnmower noise I mean, this thing is incredible condition for an 09. Big, big sofa right here. Makes a bed. So you can sleep two right here. It actually has a usable loft space uh, with an extra bed. Uh, got solid surface countertops. Carpet's original, looks great. Refrigerator, looks like it's been, it looks like it's been replaced since original but I haven't had it on very long, but we guarantee it to work. Matter of fact, let's see if it's even, it's trying to get cold. It just takes it a little bit, guys. I had this thing plugged up for maybe 20, 25 minutes. Um, three burner stove top, it's got an oven. Got a microwave, it's just an over the range, or is it a, can, yep, just over the range um drawer cabinet space i mean for a crossover it's very versatile guys this is the most versatile kind of fifth wheel you can buy because and i've said this plenty of other times a lot of people don't realize the value of a crossover even if you're not going to use it for hauling toys you can use it for a variety of purposes you can use it as a regular fifth wheel um you can use it for storage you can use it for if you got somebody that uh, needs a wheelchair ramp, you've got one built into the back of it. You can use it for a home office in the back. You know, and, and guys, if you're going to be full-timing in the fifth wheel and you're worried about having to store your stuff in a storage building and be hundreds of miles from your storage building, depending on where you're at, carry it with you in this toy hauler, guys. Look here. You basically got a 12 by 8 space back here that you can do whatever you want with it storage bay haul toys uh make it into a hobby room a home office a, a, a media center a big theater whatever you want to use it for guys you've got this monster bay that it's a blank slate now one thing i did notice the previous owners did and this is all homemade and this is the best that i can tell they've got a rack put onto the walls and it looks like they've got the uh, screws screwed into the, the aluminum rafters, aluminum wall studs, and they've got this frame right here. Uh, best I can tell, this, and you've got this right here too that goes on it, this is a homemade bed. You might have to get you an air mattress or a regular mattress put on here, but probably about a queen size bed roughly. Or use it for an extra shelf for storage. And uh, back here is not bad at all, guys. It shows a little bit of use. Got a few tire tracks on the uh, on the garage door, but for an 09, this is not bad at all. Dovetail for easier loading and unloading. And like I said, you can put your big table back here. You can desk, home office. Um, you know, I know a lot of these places that like process insurance claims. Um, they do require you to have a separate office in a separate room separate from everybody else in your home well traditionally that's impossible to do with a camper if you're full-timing in a camper but not in this one you even got your own entrance to the inside and outside on a pretty day you can lower that back uh, door down make you a porch out of it let some fresh air in enjoy the great outdoors so that's what i'm saying guys you can put you some cots back there make it a bunkhouse you can do anything pretty much anything you want to with this guys it's a blank slate you've got that own area to make it your own uh man cave she shed whatever you want to do and you still got your living quarters you got your front bedroom you got your loft up here you can look up here oh walk up here and uh 
Look up here, guys. You got a queen bed, and then you've got a, t a, a small TV right there, an old, old school TV, but it's mounted in there good. So, pretty neat. Like I said, it is the most versatile floor plan you can buy or of any type of fifth wheel because you just go out and buy a regular rear lounge or front lounge fifth wheel or, you know, you're, you're pretty much stuck to that configuration. You can't really change it. This one, you can change the configuration to suit your needs. Um, do a variety of things with it. TV up here in the corner looks good. It does have a 15,000 BTU carrier ducted roof air. Um, this is all your, in fact, I may go ahead and retract that on in case the wind picks up any more than it already is. Um, 51 degrees in here. So I'd obviously, I turned the air on for a few minutes and cut it off. So it got a little chilly in here. We do guarantee like all of our used RVs, we do guarantee the refrigerator to, and air conditioner to get to operating temperature. We guarantee the slide outs to work and um and of course you can i've checked the awning and all that for you it's good and you can check everything else you want you know we'll, we'll run shore power to it or a generator and let you uh play around with it inspect it for yourself see what works and what doesn't besides those things that we guarantee uh bathroom area looks great uh no it's not bleached yellow from the sun coming through the skylights you've got the Glass sliding doors, the garden shower, that's Corian as well. Solid wood cabinets. You do have washer and dryer hookups. It just never had one, it's still got the shelf in it for a combo unit. It's just some additional storage. You know, theoretically, you could probably adapt this to take a stack washer and dryer. Uh, porcelain, China RV toilet little storage up here water closet then your front bedroom's got a queen island bed a lot of space at the foot of the bed got a lot of outside storage too front closet cabinet space uh you can put your tv on that it actually slides out drawer space got three of those drawers Got it off track there. See if I can get it up. There we go. Uh, double closets, and they're each divided. I'll have to try to slide that back on track. And yeah, same thing here. Uh, carpets look good up here. Uh, day night shades are in great shape. This thing has been well cared for. Unlike a lot, like I said, unlike most 2009 crossovers, this one's actually very, very clean. Um, very open, very roomy. Of course, heck, 41 foot, you expect it to be. It better be roomy. <laughs> That's a big old fifth wheel. Oh, central vacuum system. That works. You know, when you tell somebody you got a central vacuum system, they ask you how well it works, you can tell them it sucks, and that's a good thing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's kind of like telling, asking a, a vacuum cleaner salesperson, hey, how's business? And he tells you it sucks. It's That's not a bad thing either, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, got the glass front cabinets over here. Got the nice light fixtures. This is a neat, neat fifth wheel, guys. It's really showy looking on the inside and out. I mean, this thing looks better than some of the other crossover fifth wheels I've seen for 10, 15, 20 grand more. Uh, this unit's only 29.9, and that's not a misprint on the price, guys. 29.9 for this big 2009 AmeriCamp Trail Boss 402 double slide 12 by 8 garage. Those this thing sleep two, four, six. And if you put a bed in the back, it'll sleep eight. Uh, but it'll sleep six without even putting that bed up in the back. So uh, definitely can use it for a, like I said, it, you can use it for, 
if you've got a lot of people to sleep this is a very comfortable sofa too and you can always get you some tv trays from big lots or amazon to sit right here for for eating um if you don't want to use the outside picnic table if there's one available where you're parked at um but anyway 29.9 is a haggle-free firm price if it's something you think you're interested in give us a call at 706-965-7929 and uh, make sure it's available before coming down to look uh, like i said give us a 24-hour notice before you come down if you want us to plug it up and run power to it and 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 i always say that nobody ever does it they just show up problem is sometimes we have to tell people we don't have any outlets available or a generator available because they're already being used so keep that in mind guys uh plan ahead call ahead make sure it's available and also if you want to see it hook the power give us at least a 24 hour notice so that we can i've only got a certain number of generators i've only got a, especially right here on the fifth wheel lot i've only have two 50 amp power outlets out here so if they're both being used by service or by other customers who called ahead then you may have to wait um unfortunately that's just the way it is right here so heck we spend uh i mean we got a bunch of outlets out here but on this part on the fifth wheel lot and that's as that's as about as many as we can get out here and that's it anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you want to come look at it if you're interested in buying this one pick up the phone uh call 706-965-7929 I look for this one to sell very, very quickly. It definitely got the eye appeal inside and out. It's clean. Uh, it's in great shape for under 30 grand for this much space. Wow. Um, I mean, the 402 means 402 square feet. Uh, like I said, wow. Um, for 29.9, I mean, this I, I feel like this thing's about $10,000 too cheap on the price but uh you know we price them by what we pay for them not what what the book says they're worth or you know you may look online find another one it might be the exact same thing for 15 grand more but you know we don't price it that way we price it by what we pay for it and of course we do check prices online too to make sure ours are the best and nine times out of ten they are um i don't think you're going to find another 40 foot crossover in this nice a condition inside and out anywhere else for this price no way um but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it appreciate all my thirty thousand plus subscribers feel free to smash me a thumb up thumbs up feel free to comment share on social media feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel rvs with big bow feel free to go to my facebook page rvs with big bow and like it follow it uh, if you want to message me directly, guys, Facebook is the best way to do it through my page. I answer all those messages personally. Um, I, I'm usually not in my office, guys, if I'm not editing, unless I'm editing a video. Most of the time. So I don't, it's, you know, I know people call for me almost every day want to talk to me, guys, but I don't have time to take phone calls right now. Message me, and I'm not in sales. Just a quick reminder, I do the marketing. So if you want to buy one, you'll need to talk to one of my salespeople. Or if you come by here, and you're one of my subscribers or you watch my videos feel free to uh come up and introduce yourself to me i'll be glad to talk to you uh shake your hand and uh, of course like i said i can't sell you one but i can be happy to say hi and thank you for coming out and everything so um but anyway uh check this one out let me know in the comments what you think about it um the jill favor right here <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.